And you, meaning those who of their own free will chose to become Christians, hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, that is to say, Satan, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, meaning the sons of Satan, as you can see pointed out in the Companion Bible, the Kenites being the natural branches of Satan's family tree, but all non-Christians are grafted into that same tree also, as opposed to God's family tree, which is the many-membered body of Christ Jesus. It's through the four hidden dynasties of education, economics, politics, and religion, the Kenites are at this time planting the seed of the mark of the beast, which will come to fruition at 666 when Satan appears as the Antichrist, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others, even those of the seven thousands of Doc, before being activated and caused to become Christians. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and it's at the seventh trumpet that all who are in Christ Jesus at that time will take part in the first resurrection and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus meaning for the remainder of this world age and then all the way up into the third world age which is the eternity all who are in Christ Jesus will enter into having taken part in either the first resurrection at the seventh trumpet or the second resurrection after the thousand years are finished. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Grace means free, undeserved favor, as you can see in Appendix 184 of the Companion Bible, and God's grace can only be obtained by those who believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. So then the only way to go into the third world age is by grace through faith in Christ Jesus. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them because we're expected to bring forth fruit for the kingdom of God which means to allow ourselves to be utilized by our heavenly father to plant seeds that God willing will come to fruition and bring whosoever will back into God's family tree all were part of in the first world age. Wherefore remember that ye, being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. In other words, you who were grafted into God's family tree through Christ Jesus, who aren't of the twelve tribes of Israel according to the flesh, that at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God, in the world. But now, in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. And in the future is since the Gentiles who became Christians in the book of Acts, the Holy Spirit then began to speak through were a type of those who will of their own free will choose to repent because of what the Holy Spirit will say through those who get delivered up during the sixth trumpet, after which some of them will be delivered up also. And whoever's part of God's family tree when the true Christ Christ returns will take part in the first resurrection. For he, meaning the Lord Jesus Christ, is our peace who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, because all are one in Christ Jesus, both those of the twelve tribes according to the flesh, if they're Christians, as well as those not of the twelve tribes according to the flesh, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain one new man so making peace and ultimately in the third world age all will be Israel spiritually speaking just as all were one in the first world age evidently being divided into 12 groups at that time as well which is why the woman in Revelation chapter 12 verse 1 has a crown of 12 stars with the lamb's wife written of in Revelation 21 being symbolic of all who will go into the third world age having taken part in either 
either the first or the second resurrection by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ because even during the millennium it's their faith in Christ Jesus and his teachings of discipline through the millennial priesthood that will give them the ability to stand against Satan after the thousand years are finished having washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb as you can see in the 14th verse of Revelation chapter 7 and that he meaning the Lord Jesus Christ the lamb slain might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross having slain the enmity thereby and came and preached peace to you which were afar off into them that were nigh in other words to both the Gentiles as well as those of the twelve tribes according to the flesh for through him we both have access by one spirit meaning the Holy Spirit unto the Father now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God the saints being God's elect as we know from Romans chapter 8 and Paul is one of the seven thousands of Doc and again all are one in Christ Jesus up until most Christians get deceived into worshiping Satan instead of Christ at 666 all except for those of the church in Philadelphia and obviously the two witnesses who are most likely Moses and Elijah but when the Holy Spirit speaks through those of the church in Philadelphia the 144,000 who are the church in Smyrna are predestinated to come out of the deception at that time and it's also at that time that whosoever will out of most of the other churches written of in Revelation chapters 1, 2, and 3 will repent also in the same sort of chain reaction you can read of in the book of Acts. So again now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets Jesus Christ Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, the true rock who doesn't return until the seventh trumpet is king of kings and lord of lords, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for inhabitation of God through the Spirit.